What's good, y'all? It's your boy Black Opel. We got the smoke. We got some smoke for y'all today. Sinead O'Connor, dead at 56. Malik Obama. Who is Malik Obama? And Kilian Mbappe makes a decision on the offer that he got from the Saudi Arabian back team, Al Halal. First up, Sinead O'Connor, dead at 56. Sinead O'Connor was famous for, among um, other things, a song that she remade by Prince, where she was um, on the screen, on her video, it was like her face, and it's one of the pictures that's below right here, it was like her face, like see that face, it was like, imagine that face, and she had like tears coming down, and she was singing a song by Prince called Nothing Compares to You. She won a lot of Grammy Awards, she was, she was well respected in the um, music game. Also, she was known for her fiery rhetoric and her protests and her stance on things that she believed in. She was seen on national TV in 1992, tearing up a picture of John Paul II in her protests for the child sex abuse scandal that the Catholic Church was embroiled in. Also, Sinead O'Connor had one son, Shane O'Connor. He died from suicide in 2022. Sinead O'Connor has battled mental illness her whole life and throughout her whole career. She was ordained a Catholic a, a, a priest after she had tore up the uh, Pope's picture, which was crazy. And even absurder, she turned to the Islamic faith later on in her life. Before her untimely death, she had changed her name to Shahada Devet. Shahid O'Connor. Entertainment legend. First up in today's smoke. Rest in peace, Sinead. Also, who is Malik Obama? Malik Obama, a Kenyan boy, businessman, is the stepbrother to the 44th president of the United States, Barack Obama. They both share a father, Barack H. Obama, in common. They also have other brothers and sisters. They have a, um, a, a, a sister from like Sri Lanka or something like that. I think her name is, let me get my facts straight. What's good with y'all? What's going on with y'all? Let me get my facts straight about the Barack and his uh, brothers and sisters, because he got quite a few of them before we even get into the, uh, what Malik Obama has done. Let's see here. Barack Obama's siblings are Maya, Maya, Sia Toro, Okay, that's a sister, Malik Obama, that's the young man in question here, Omar Obama, that's another sister, she's of Kenya descent, David DeSandio, George Hussein Oyango Obama, all of these are siblings of Barack Obama. All of them of, of African Kenyan descent besides Maya Siatoro Obama, which is Obama's sister. She was born on August 15, 1970, in um, Jakarta, Jakarta, Indonesia. She's of Indonesian descent. She says... The mother, her mother 
Anna Dunham is Barack Obama's mother. The rest of Barack Obama's siblings are his father's children. You very rarely hear, even hear about Barack brothers and sisters. Have y'all heard about um, Barack's chef have drowned or something to that effect? Well, Malik Obama been in the news lately, um, among other things. Y'all know he endorsed Donald Trump in 2016, and he was Donald Trump's special guest at a uh, presidential debate. Also, he started out uh, endorsing Obama, but it seemed like he was just chasing clout. And I believe him and Obama... Um, had words about the uh, Barack H. Obama Foundation, which is named after their father. And uh, Malik was in charge of it. And Obama was saying that he didn't feel like he needed to endorse it. And Malik made a statement saying that he doesn't need the endorsement of his famous American brother to succeed. So, you know, it all seemed like some sibling rivalry. With, um, Malik as the um, antagonist. So uh, Malik Obama has this time went and spoke on a tweet that his brother Barack Obama had tweeted. Barack Obama was um, tweeting out to the librarians and it was speaking on banned books and about people in, and a lot of other banned books, it featured people of um, color, indigenous people and members of the LGBT community. And it says that those books was kind of like targeted, like books about black people, Native Americans, like I said, the ind indigenous people um, and members of the LGBT community and y'all all know that Barack was in support of the LBGTQ community throughout his presidency I guess his brother feels some kind of way well I don't know whether that's from him being African in a lot of African countries they don't um, like the um, LGBTQ community I'm neither here nor there with it to each his own. But Malik Obama responded to this tweet that Barack had and said some to the effect of this man is definitely gay. He tweeted with the um, speech. And it was a lot of controversy, but soon after he deleted the tweet which is crazy. I think he might have just been trying to chase some clout. We all know that uh, President Obama is not gay. He's happily married to Michelle Obama. You know, um, in the past, it was said that Malik Obama even questioned um, Barack was Michelle a man or a woman. It's like the antics of this Kenyan-based businessman. He, he, Matter of fact, he lives in Barack Obama's family ancestral hometown. And he runs like a little electronic shop out there. He tried to run for um, some kind of political office in Kenya on the um, strength of him being Barack Obama's brother. I don't think he had much success. That's Malik Obama. He um, chasing clout using Barack Obama name. The smoke, the smoke, the smoke. Um, smoke sports news. You familiar with this guy right here? He was seen at a party the other night with the likes of Jay-Z, uh, Kevin Hart, Little baby, um, the basketball player Kazuma, Tom Brady, the quarterback, um, 
Robert Kraft, the owner of the Patriots, Meek Mills. Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe was offered a $776 million package to switch from the Quartier on St. Germain team where he plays forward and transfer to the Saudi Arabia back Al Halal soccer team. He was offered seven hundred and seventy six million and they also were gonna buy him out of his contract worth a reported three hundred and thirty three million, so making the total package one billion dollars. Kilian Mbappe was offered a one year deal to play for Al Halil, the Saudi Arabian back soccer team and represent that soccer team's league. Now that would have made Khalil Mbappe one of the highest paid sports figures, if not ever, but in the world right now. Khalil Mbappe has made a decision. He has rejected the deal to transfer to the um, Saudi back Al Halil soccer team. And it's alleged that he's in talks to transfer over to Real Madrid, Spain. So shout out Kylian Mbappe. That must have been a, uh, I know it was a hell of a decision to make because almost a billion dollars to play for just one year. They must have had a lot of things in the background dealing with that contract that Kalyan ain't want to go for. Or maybe he just got his picks. I mean, you know, soccer players, is is about the ambiance. Maybe he won't feel in it. So shout out Kalyan Mbappe. Amazing. You got the smoke. Make sure y'all get over there and check them QR codes and get your BMC coffee mug from the BMC Merchant Apparel. Also, we got the three in one grinder link. Right here, three in one. Comes with a grinder, waterproof, smell proof, airtight. Go about a gram if you want to be the street. Make sure you get over there and check it out right here. Get your BMC three in one grinder. Before we leave, y'all, I want to test y'all mental. You feel me? I'm going to show you this optical illusion. And I want you to tell me what you see first. It's going to determine what side of the brain that you use the most. What do you see first? If you see a young man facing forward, you use the left side of your brain more. You're a logical thinker. You're analytical. You pay attention to detail. You stick to the facts. You listen to the words of the song. Two, if you see a young man's face side profile, you use the right side of your brain more. Multitasking, free thinker, quick to go off a of feeling, holistic, very creative, just moves to the rhythm. Which one are you? Leave a comment below.